Welcome to our presentation. My name is Mr. Haggett and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the GCSE Drama course. So, GCSE Drama, as its name suggests, is about acting and performing. It also develops a lot of quite life skills. So, that's what students will be doing. They're going to be exploring performance texts. We're going to go into a little bit more depth and detail than they've gone into them before. They're going to use these to develop their theatrical skills and to create performances. And of course, they're going to work collaboratively. Drama is an excellent way to generate those kind of ideas and those project management skills. And they're going to develop as creative, effective, and independent learners. They really do drive their own knowledge and understanding, and this is what helps to develop them as performers. So, on the course, it's suitable for everyone who loves acting and for people who want to improve their performance skills. You don't have to be the best actor in the world to be very, very successful in your GCSE drama course. Um, and a lot of people have said that it's really been a life changer for them in helping them to develop their performance and their confidence. It's a very practical course. Um, there is very little in terms of sitting down at desks, you're up, you're acting, you're rehearsing, and it's all really based on group work. And it gives you a lot of independence. You make up your own plays and you also study scripts as well. So, uh, currently we are limited in the amount of drama we've been able to do in year nine, but as you move into year 10 and year 11, we're able to allow students to do practical work um, through kind of carefully organized bubbles. Uh, and so they can really start to develop those practical performance skills. So they get to perform as part of a group, uh, but also they're developing those project management skills, those key interpersonal skills that are so important in a whole range of jobs. And they'll develop the way they can act. We don't just look at the naturalistic acting styles, we investigate uh, a number of different genres, and so they create performances uh, in a very diverse way. They also get to watch other performances. As part of the course, it's vital that they uh, are able to see live theatre performances, and this really informs their work. Although, obviously, we're not currently able to go to theatre. We've got access to a huge range of live performances, and so they'll see all kind of different actors uh, performing in a wide range of plays. And this will uh, develop their historical and cultural knowledge, um, and it links into a whole range of other subjects as well. It links into their history, it links into the uh, English literature, and it can really give some real depth of understanding to these other subjects. Well, so obviously uh, we really want the students to enjoy the course and they need to understand that it will involve performing in front of other people. And as I said, sometimes students aren't quite so confident. It really does help to build their confidence. You do have to perform in front of others to develop that. It also allows them to work creatively as part of the team. Again, going back to those uh, key interpersonal skills. It also allows them to go to theatre, hopefully, uh, once things have settled down a little and they start to open theatres up again, then we should be able to go to a lot of performances. But as I said, we do have access to a wide range of recorded performances from uh, companies like the National Theatre. It really develops them as actors and performances. So we use the EDUCAST GCSE drama course, that's part of the WJEC uh, exam board. They are a really, really hands-on um, exam company. And they're really, really focused on um, developing students as actors and performers. And they really focus um, the course on the practical side of things. It, again, 
wants the students to see live theatre performances as much as we possibly can. But it really looks at developing that enjoyment of drama. Um, our students say it's a very, very enjoyable and exciting course. And the course is based on practical work. Everything that we do is based on practical work and practical drama work. Any written work that you do is also based on your practical work. Uh, and it ties in very, very nicely with that. The marks are split between 60% practical and 40% written. And as I say, that written work is based on the work that you've done or text that you've explored practically. So there are three components to the course. Component one is the first component, which we will study. And it's a devised performance. You get a lot of freedom. You get to make up your own play, or give you a stimulus, but beyond that, you get to choose where you go and the ideas that you develop based on that. You get your marks based on the rehearsal and the performance of your play. And then, as you go along, you kind of create a creative log, and you make notes of the decisions that you've made, the way that you've performed, and that goes to help towards your marks as well. The teacher marks the work for this, and then it's sent off to the exam board to be moderated. And that is 40% of the total mark. Component two, again, is another practical-based component. It's a scripted performance. We give you a script. We select um, a couple of sections from it in discussion with the students, and then um, it's a non-exam assessment. So you perform a section of that script for a visiting examiner. They come in and give you a mark, and it's a really, really nice way to perform your work. It gives you that real kind of performance buzz that uh, students who are in the drama really crave, and that gives you 20% of the total mark. The final component is the written exam. But as I've said, all of the work which you do is based around practical exploration. So in section A, it's based on a script that you study. You may have a list of set scripts. And so we explore that practically. You develop ideas about character, about lighting, about set, about costume. And then in the exam, you uh, reproduce those ideas. And so long as you've studied the uh, text and come up with your ideas, then it's, uh, I mean, it's sometimes difficult to say there's such a thing as a nice exam, but it really is um, quite a good exam um, for the students based around their ideas, rather than just remembering a list of facts. Then section B, you answer questions based on a play that you've seen. It's a, a live theatre review, um, and so we normally pick a play where we do have that kind of digital recording that we can watch again and again, and then we prepare the students for that to do the review. And that is 40% of the total mark. Then the kind of next question we normally get is, what can I do with this course? And obviously there are a wide range of uh, skills that you develop. And if you want to go on and work in the arts or work in theatre, then there are a whole range of jobs that you can go into. But equally, it develops those skills that employers are really looking for as well. The kind of confidence, the teamwork, the communication skills that are so important in the workplace today. And you know, some of our students have gone on to um, really, really interesting careers working in museums. They've gone on to uh, teachers. They've gone on to work in the National Health Service. And they bring together all those skills with those qualifications. And the course is ideally set up develop those skills.